Hi, this is Bastian, and today we're going to annotate the game using the Geller Gambit against the Chess Master engine. I've added the mentor lines, so you can see how the engine thinks, and why the Geller Gambit is such a good weapon against players that are not familiar with it. So these are just um, the typical opening moves that we can see. Bishop to e2, a bit less common. Knight to g5. So, bishop to h5. I'm starting to build up my pieces um, opposite to black's king. So I have the queen, the knight, and the bishop there. The other bishop is um, on the diagonal attacking the king. This knight is pretty close. And now rook to e1, preparing a rook lift. So, White's idea is very simple um, in the middle game. Bring all the pieces out and attack the enemy king, while black is wasting time with his pawn advantage on the queen side. And if you're quick enough, and this works best in a Geller Gambit, we can get a strong attack going. And if you're not familiar with uh, the Geller Gambit, uh, you're probably going to lose against it. We can see in a few moves that um, there will be a huge difference in uh, the score that the engine gives to. Um, uh, possible continuations, which means you will be stuck playing one or two lines, and it's certainly worth the trouble to analyze those lines. Rook to e3, so I'm rook lifting, simply continuing to bring pieces in. Now we cannot avoid um, black trading down a few uh, pieces, so bishop takes knight, knight recaptures. I'm getting a ne negative score um, on this, but it really isn't so. But this means um, black will probably play one move. That's pawn to f5, queen to h3. Now queen to h3 is very aggressive because it threatens queen takes um, pawn on h7 checkmate in some cases. But now we can see that our um, knight is hanging on g5 with the attack of the queen. But it's all about aggression. I'm getting minus 1.50. So it's the only score with minus 1.50. So black will only play one move, and that's take the knight. Sadly, it will be losing from black. So but he doesn't have any choice, or he thinks he has no choice to do so, or to do otherwise. Queen takes, rook to g3, bringing in the rook as an attacker, with a um, double attack with bishop and rook against the queen. So only one move possible, queen needs to retreat. Bishop to g5, forcing the queen even further away. Now queen is useless at b4, and now bishop to h6, another aggressive attacking move. We can see there's only one move left, in which black will keep the draw. And let's bring the queen back. But now rook takes pawn, or bishop takes, and we get an exchange. So I've exchanged two minor pieces and a rook against the queen, but now my rook on a3 can um, step in because this diagonal was covered. And I still have enough pieces left to win the game, even though the engine doesn't think so. Again with uh, minus one point something, minus 0.4 now. So I exchange queen to h4, and we can see black's enemy king locked in with two adjacent diagonals. It's uh, still a draw according to the engine, but we can see that all of black's pieces are hanging, so they're not only useless, um, they're immobilized, and when I attack black's king, at least two minor pieces um, will, be, will be captured which will be enough for um, white to win the game. So I'm just exchanging a pawn here, it's um, a wasting move. Now this pawn shouldn't be captured, instead white should concentrate on attacking um, black's pieces, black's minor pieces, because otherwise he can create um, breeding space for his pieces to uh, develop. So bishop protects knight, I attack the bishop, pawn takes, so we have a back rank mate, h4. 
And now the engine is starting to realize he's in big trouble. Which scores of um, plus three. Check, I escape. Attacking the queen. But the first minor piece is now gone. We gain tempo with a check. The bishop falls. And now both knights are under attack. There's no way for black to um, keep his knight. Because this pawn uh, covers one square and we can advance the pawn and promote and attack the second. So at least one will fall. Now the queen will simply clean up the board. So I exchange the last minor piece. And the smoke has cleared and it's queen against rook. Even with the pawn advantage for white. H5 puts more pressure on the pawn on G6. Rook to B7. I don't get it. But there are no winning moves for um, black anyways. So this cleans up three more pawns. A pawn on um, A3. And C5 can't be protected at once. So he's attacking the f2 pawn. He cannot capture the f2 pawn at this point because then I can play queen to c5 for king, um, rook and king. Attacking h5, protecting h5. Now he can take the f2 pawn because he's gaining tempo with a check. But now king to um, g3. And this rook can no longer... Um, move anywhere to attack um, one of my pawns or defend his pawn. So I can simply grab the pawn back with um, queen takes pawn on c5 and here I simply exchange to prevent all of the annoying checks uh, black can still do with his rook. And the three pawns are um, more than sufficient to win the game. So I'll just continue until we see the mate. I'm just going to promote to three rooks. Of course you can promote to anything you want, but um, I'm feeling like rooks today, so it's gonna be rooks. And we just back rank made the king. And that's the end of it. Also my downloads are ready. What great timing. <laughs> so let's take at a, a look at a few more sidelines. Okay now let's take a look at um, move 14 of this game and explore the middle game a little bit. So I play rook to e1, preparing to bring the rook into the attack. And black plays uh, rook to b8 as a response. So we can see why he's playing his rook to um, the half open file. Well, it's going to be half open after pawn takes pawn. And he's trying to generate some counterplay. But this isn't the most obvious move for black to play, and I don't think it's the best move. He has other um, options. So at some point Chess Master will play, or other engines, or um, human opponents will play the move 
uh, f5. So after f5, which is logical because it disrupts white's attack, and we can see uh, at the rating that it's a pretty good move. Uh, well, how should white continue? He can play uh, pawn takes pawn, grabbing the pawn en passant. And now we can see there are three possibilities for um, black to recapture this pawn with uh, the bishop, with the rook, or with the pawn. But pawn takes pawn, we can see, cannot be played because of the immediate knight to f7 checkmate. So we can already see uh, in what a poor position black is in. Um, he cannot take the knight because of the bishop, that's protecting. Check with the queen, and he cannot escape to um, h8 because of the check of the knight. So that's a checkmate. There are two possible continuations now, that's um, bishop takes pawn or um, rook takes pawn. You know, let's just start the engine. And see um, what black will play. So pawn takes pawn. Again we can see only one possible continuation, that is knight takes pawn. All other moves are losing. Knight takes check. So let's see um, how black will recapture. He recaptures with the rook. Now queen to h3. Engines don't like this, so they don't think it's best. But it uh, threatens among other things, like before, the queen takes uh, pawn on h7 checkmate. Bishop to b4, bishop to f7 check, so another aggressive attacking move, uncovering queen takes pawn, king moves, and now we can crash through with um, rook takes pawn, so we're grabbing a pawn, but offering up the rook, knight takes, bishop recaptures, so it's clear that white should play aggressive at attacking moves and it's up to black to find um, to spot those attacks and find the correct defense against it. So if you see an aggressive move in the gallery, you should always consider it. Queen takes the uh, pawn on d4. Bishop to e3, getting in some free development. Engine thinks there's only one best move. Well, it's it thinks there are a few at this point, so we can play a few moves. Plays queen to e5, rook to the open file, rook to h6, threatening the queen, so the queen goes to f3, check, one move, queen goes to a um, f6, one good move for white, queen to g4, protecting among other things the bishop, oh it wasn't the best move, well I think it's the best move, so there we go, I think um, uh, me and the engine are not agreeing on this game, ah there we go, Strong advantage for white. <coughs> Engine is thinking. And thinking. Okay, queen to e5. We can see what he's trying to do here. He's created an attack on um, the h2 pawn. So there are two ways to um, defend against it. We can play uh, bishop to f4, which develops the bishop even more, uh, which is perfect, perfectly reasonable. Or um, we can defend in another way, um, with pawn to h4, protecting the pawn and preventing the queen takes pawn on h2. Well, bishop, bishop to uh, f4 is probably best, but let's go with um, h4 instead, which is also good. 
creating a battery. So now I'm going to take this pawn with tempo. So another aggressive attacking move. King goes to e7. Bishop to g5 check. Rook to f6. And now bishop to f5. And this is because um, this covers the e6 square. Now the king cannot go to um, e6. If I leave the bishop on e6 and I move the queen, black can capture uh, the bishop. And now he can't, so this retreating move actually constricts black even further. Uh, bishop takes rook, so we're going to start exchanging pieces. Let's see how black recaptures with the pawn. Now knight takes rook. Um, queen to h5. Pawn moves. Queen h8 check. We can see at um, the score that um, black is pretty much lost. Queen to h7 check. I can take the bishop now. <coughs> bishop to um, e7. Now you can see that this bishop is under attack. So, queen to d7. Um, pawn to c3. Let's see. Rook to d5, attacking the queen. It's good enough. Check. He cannot check with, um, well, he can grab the pawn. We can continue playing, but um, it's pretty clear that um, black is lost in this position, uh, being down a rook. So, let's take a look at the other variation. Um, move 14, f5. Yes, I take the pawn en passant. <coughs> now we've seen rook takes what if bishop um, were to recapture oh wait knight takes, knight takes, bishop recaptures so we can see that this still appears uh, playable for black but suddenly we get a little boost here uh, there's a strong counter um, counterplay and that is the immediate sacrifice um, knight takes pawn. So the engine doesn't necessarily agree with this. Let's set up the game and see how it turns out. King recaptures, um, 
bishop g6 check king flees queen to h5 now again you're threatening queen to h7 check but with the bishop um, guarding h7 instead of the knight and we can see that um, the king is locked in his only good move, we can see there's only one good move left, is to create a breathing space uh, by moving the rook. So, rook to e8 is the only move. Now we can grab the uh, rook with um, the bishop, but this probably isn't best. It's probably best to bring some more pieces in. Bishop to f4, which activates um, the a1 rook and creates an attack on the knight. And eventually, it will be impossible for our black um, to keep preventing this knight with his queen. So this knight is hanging. So the king moves. Rook to e2. And this creates a battery. Um, we will play rook to e1 and crash through. And rook to e2 is better than rook to e3, for instance. Because after bishop takes pawn, he can immediately attack my rook on e3. So rook to e2 is um, best. Now what did he play? Queen to uh, d5. Mm, I'm going to... well there are a few possibilities. I can grab um, this knight right away. But black is now threatening my queen. Let's go with queen to h3. This saves the queen, of course. Uh, upon advances, I'm going to grab the knight now. With the bishop. few possibilities for um, black, all equally bad. I'm going to continue with the battery. Queen takes check. Okay, this forces the exchange. And now with um, major pieces uh, traded down, uh, we can see that um, white has a serious edge with being one bishop up and a strong attack on um, the remaining pawns. Also, uh, I've uploaded the chess sets. Um, this one I've created myself. There are a few others that I uh, simply downloaded. For instance, um, this tournament set. Or this one. So, if you're tired playing against the same blue screen uh, in Chess Master, um, you may give these chess sets a go. So I'll put the link in the description. So thanks for watching, um, have a great evening and uh, please leave a comment. Hi everybody, this is Bastian and today we're going to take a look at the Damiano defense in club level play. So the Damiano defense is one of the oldest known chess openings and it's not considered to be very good. So basically white starts out with e4, black plays e5, knight to um, f3 attacking the pawn and now pawn to f6 defending that pawn signaling the Damiano defense. And we can immediately see an issue uh, arising for black in this type of defense.